I know you have learned so many things from your previous oral lessons. And for sure, you are excited to learn and discover new things. I am expecting you to listen carefully for this lesson surely arouse your interest in art. In this module, you will be able to learn and discover different artistic works that will help improve your knowledge and skills in art. Get ready to be more artistic and creative. I know you are excited. Good luck! Before we start, I would like you to read and understand our objectives for the day. Let's see whether these objectives will be attained at the end of the lesson. Number 1. Identify representative artists and Filipino counterparts from the various art movements. Number 2. Create artworks to derive the tradition's history of expressionism. Number 3. Determine the role of or function of artworks by evaluating their utilization and combination of art elements and principles. To proceed, have you heard the word modern art? How about expressionism? Have you known artists of expressionism? Now, for us to gain knowledge, let's discuss about it. What is modern art, by the way? Modern art includes artistic works produced during the period extending roughly from the 1860s to the 1970s. Many artists started to make art about people, places, or ideas that interested them, and or wish they had direct experience. Now, what is Expressionism? Expressionism is an art movement originating in Germany in 1910s and ending in 1930s pre-World War II. The movement was a response to the ever-industrializing world and loss of touch with humanity, authenticity, and spirituality. Expressionism ideals focus on portraying a mood, a feeling of a thought more than producing a scene of life. A transition from still life drawing sparked the catalyst of a more abstract style. The key elements are color, representing emotion, large brush, and loose, whirling, and curving strokes. Therefore, Expressionism is categorized under modern art since it was produced between 1860s to 1970s. We already learned what is modern art and Expressionism. Now, we will go to discover the international artist and Filipino artist Expressionism. I know that you heard or familiarized their names already. These are two known international artists in Expressionism. Vincent William Van Gogh. In just over a decade, he created about 2,100 artworks, including around 806 oil paintings most of which date from the last two years of his life. They include landscapes, still lifes, portraits, and self-portraits, and are characterized by bold colors and dramatic, impulsive, and expressive, expressive brushwork that contributed to the foundation of modern art. His artworks are Starry Night Over the Road and The Potato Eaters. Next, we have Edward Mons. He was a Norwegian painter whose best known work, The Scream. He has become one of the most iconic images of the world of art. His childhood was overshadowed by illness, bereavement, and the dread of inheriting a mental condition that won in the family. His artworks are The Scream and a sick child. These are the three known Filipino Expressionism artists. We have Benedicto Reyes Cabrera. As he is more popularly known as widely hailed 
as a master of contemporary Philippine art. She was born in Manila on April 10, 1942. Benka began carving a niche for himself in Manila's art circles shortly after receiving his bachelor's degree in fine arts from University of Philippines in 1963. His artworks are From Hillman to Surgeon and Sabet. A major subject that refers to Benka's works through the decades inspired by a real-life scavenger that photographed and sketched. Next we have Jose Hoya. He was a Filipino painter best known for his abstract expressionist works which utilized a variety of techniques including controlled grips, impact strokes, and transparent layering. In creating an artwork, the artist is concretizing his need for communication. The artist has said of his practice. He has an irresistible urge to reach that level of spiritual satisfaction and to project what he is and what he thinks through his works. His artworks are Maribelas and the Hills of Nico. The artist's interpretation of one of the existing hills of Nico, Japan. The hills and perfections are thoroughly covered by snow during winters, an allergy to human imperfections. Next we have Alfonso Angel Yampo Usurio. He was a Filipino-American abstract expressionist artist who was born in Manila in 1916 to a wealthy Filipino parents from the province of Negros Occidental. His heritage was Hispanic, Filipino, and Chinese. Between the ages of 8 and 13, he attended school in England. His artworks are The Angry Christ and Congregation. A mural commissioned by the parish of St. Joseph in Victoria City, Negros Occidental in the Philippines for the reconstruction of the church. That's it! I hope you learned about modern art, expressionism, and the artists known doing this art. I hope you discovered, learned, and enjoyed the lesson in your module. Again, this is Riza May Digasain, your teacher broadcaster for today. See you again to our next lesson. Goodbye now and have a good day.